Hello, welcome to the Math 135 video for how to interpret log base 10 of a quantity. My name is Professor Michael Polyuk. The intensity of this video is mild. The learning objectives for this video are, by the end of this video, you should be able to interpret what log base 10 means physically, and you should be able to quickly approximate log base 2 of a binary number. Our motivating question is, how long do the phone numbers in Canada need to be so that each person gets a unique phone number. Take a moment to think about this now. And as a fact, the population of Canada was 35,151,728 as of 2016. Well, if we had seven digits, we could make all the phone numbers from seven zeros up to seven nines. So that's pretty easy to see that that would be um, 10 million of these phone numbers. And to put another way, 10 million is 10 to the 7. And the 7 in this exponent and this 7 digits are related. One way to see that is for every um, spot, we have 10 choices. So that's 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 choices, which is 10 to the 7. So because we can make 10 million with 7 digits, we know that that's not enough to reach all of Canada. So we need an additional digit. So with eight digits, we're able to do it, but seven won't work. Now, another way to solve this question would be to count the digits of the population of Canada, which would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It has eight digits. And it turns out that answers the question as well. Now, we're going to make this connection a little bit tighter between how many digits a number has, and something to do with logarithms. Let's explore that now. So our first observation is if the population of Canada was between 1 and 10, we would only need one digit for everyone to have a unique phone number. And here are some computations relating to log of these things. So log of 2 is around 0 0.3, log of 3 is 0 0.7, sorry, 0 0.47, log base 10 of 4 is 0 0.6, all the way up to log of 9, which is 0 0.95, and log of 10 is 1. Now, you can think about how these things are related to this answer, but let's do some more data and see what happens. If the population of Canada was between 11 and 100, well then we would need two digits. If the population was between 101 and 1000, then we would need three digits. So you can start to see how these things are related. And if we look at the computations, here's log base 10 of the numbers from 11 to 101. And we can see that the answers to these questions above and log base 10 of n are related in some way. So we can see that these things are related, but how are they related? How do we know that if the population is between one and 10, the answer is one, but here we have the numbers 0 0.3 all the way to one. See if you can make the relationship between n and the number of digits. Okay, hopefully you've had a chance to think about that. So formally, the connection between the two is if n is a whole number greater than zero, then the number of digits of n is you round down, take log base 10, and then you add one. So let's look at the previous slide to see how that's related. So all of these numbers from two to nine, these get rounded down to zero, and then you add one. This number uh, also gets rounded down to one, and then you add one, so it becomes two. So this needs two digits, and all of these need one. Similar for the numbers from 11 to 99, you round them down to one, and then you add one. So these need all two digits. So as a reminder, this notation right here is called the floor function, and it means round down to the nearest integer. So let's see a couple applications of this. How many digits does 100 to the 9 have? Well, if we plug it into our formula, then we can use log rules and pull out this 9, because logs play well with exponents. And we know what log base 10 of 100 is, 
it's 2. So the answer is, this has 19 digits, this number right here. Now, the answer, one of the ways to do this would be to multiply it all out and then count the digits, but this is a little bit shorter and doesn't involve doing nine multiplications. Here's a second application. I can never remember. Is log of a plus b equal to log of a plus log of b? This is a common thing that students often forget. So let's use the perspective we've developed to answer this question. And let's think about digits and populations. If we double the population of Canada from 35 million to 70 million, does that change the number of digits we need to represent it? Well, no, because log of 35 million plus 35 million is log of 70 million, and that's still around eight digits. But if you added them up separately, so if you tried to add up log of 35 million and log of 35 million, that would be eight plus eight is 16. So if you add before taking log, that doesn't amount to doubling log on the outside. So in general, these things are not equal. Now let's see a third application. A license plate for a car uses some number of symbols that can be chosen from the symbols A through Z and zero through nine. How many symbols are needed to guarantee that each person in Canada has a unique license plate? And you should write your answer as the value of a function. You don't need to compute it exactly. So take a moment to answer this now. Here we see that since there are 36 total symbols, 26 letters and 10 digits, then the answer will be the population of Canada base 36. So log base 36 of this, you take the floor and you add one. So this is the answer because if we were only allowed to use the digits zero to nine, this would be log base 10. There would be 10 symbols to choose from. But because we have 36 symbols to choose from, we're taking log base 36. And you can actually compute this. This turns out to be five. Um, that's not so important for us. But what this tells us is that we only need five symbols to use. The more important thing for this question was to actually write out um, symbolically what we expect the answer to be. Now for some exercises. How much larger does the population of Canada need to be to require adding one additional digit to the phone numbers? Express this observation as finding the C that makes log base 10 of C of X equal to log base 10 of X plus one. Suppose that the Canadian government mandates that license plates can only be three symbols long. How many symbols does the licensing agency need to guarantee that each person in Canada receives a unique license plate? We saw that if we use 36 symbols, then we only needed five, five uh, slots. What if you were only allowed three slots? How many symbols would you have to have? And then finally, you are told that log base two of n is less than 10 for a particular whole number n. What is the most number of digits needed to express n? Now let's end with some reflections. In application two, how important was the floor function and the plus one? Using the perspective discussed in this video, which is larger, log base 10 of the population of Canada or log base 11 of the population of Canada, and why? Thank you very much, and have a great day.